Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abra and here on this channel I share everything about cleaning, cooking, organizing and motherhood. If this sounds like something you're interested in, please consider to subscribe and let's stay connected. Today's video is all gonna be about deep cleaning and organizing my fridge. So this is the situation of my fridge right now. It is not clean, it is not organized, it's really messy and dysfunctional. And trying to find anything in this fridge is just impossible. But today is the day that I'm going to change this and get it clean so it can be more functional for our family. So let's get into it. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. Because this is a deep cleaning i'm gonna go ahead and remove everything from the fridge so that i can clean each and every corner This video was filmed on my birthday so this is my son and my husband that just got back from the store and they got me flowers how nice is this i was so surprised and so proud of my son for handing me these flowers that i just had to include this in the video <laughs> Since this cleaning is gonna take me a while, I'm just prepping my cooler for all the things that can't be kept out of the fridge for too long, such as milk and cheese.
your body on the kitchen table And move the dishes to the side going to be using my microfiber cloth and down dish soap to clean the fridge. So first I'm going to use my microfiber cloth with warm water to wipe off the fridge and I'll follow with uh, the down dish soap and last I will use baking soda and lime juice to deodorize the fridge. Just a quick tip, if you want to use the down dish soap, uh, be mindful of how much you're using because if you use too much, it's going to take you forever to wipe it off.
So first I was going to clean these containers in my kitchen sink but decided to use my kids play mat and clean them outside instead and I am so glad I did so because not only it was so much easier for me I also had more working space to be able to really scrub down these containers and got into every corner and it saved me so much time this whole thing took me about 10 to 15 minutes to clean and I know I would have spent more time if I were to clean this in my kitchen sink so if you're planning on doing a deep cleaning on your fridge try cleaning your containers outside believe me you won't regret it it will save you so much time So after getting everything back in place, I'm gonna go ahead and check expiration date and get rid of all the expired food. And after that, I'll go ahead and wipe down all the bottles and containers just in case there's anything leaking to avoid getting my freshly cleaned fridge dirty again. in my head oh i wish i was more 
showers more than your fan now And that your voice came from here in my bed You're in my headphones, baby, in my headphones, baby, in my headphones, singing to me You're in my headphones, baby So quick question for you guys, how do you place your ketchup bottle in the fridge? Do you place it this side down or the other way around? For me, this is the way I place it but my husband will come and then flip it around. So let me know in the comment below, how do you place your ketchup bottle in your fridge? I think I kind of know the answer already, but I'm being stubborn and just want to do it the way I want, I want to, but let me know in the comment below. Here we are with everything back in the clean fridge and this fridge is looking like someone needs to go grocery shopping. So guys, this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment, share it with your friends and I will see you on my next one.